Meet Matt. Things haven't been going too well for him lately. His wife hates him. His boss has it out for him. And his delinquent kids are about to get kicked out of school. But we can help make things better. Let's turn that frown upside down. Let's go ahead and turn off the frowny face. Make sure we have the mask selected for the happy face. Let's go over to Alpha's. Let's go ahead and put on his new happy face. Wait a minute. Why is it sideways? Well, I can go ahead and fix that. Wait a minute. Why didn't it stamp? What's going on? Why is it broken? Well, dear viewer, you probably already know what the issue is. But here's the thing. I didn't have a clue. And I racked my brain. Couldn't figure it out. So I went to YouTube, because that's what you're supposed to do when you don't know how to do something. I watched a half dozen or so videos, and every single video failed me. Let me down. And here's the problem. This is why they failed me. They made the cardinal sin in education. They made an assumption. They assumed that as a substance user, I don't know why, because there's a lot of brushes, but that I would be using the basic soft brush. And when you use the basic soft brush, and then you go and grab a stamp or an alpha, make it a little bigger, works immediately. What's the problem? Problem solved, dude. You just watched the video and it works. Move on with your life. But that's not what I was doing. I was using fancy brushes, specifically Adobe's Kyle brushes. And these brushes are awesome for organic texturing. So when you're texturing away and it looks great, and then you want to go and grab an alpha so you can stamp a I don't know, biohazard sign or something on it. Why is it sideways? That doesn't look right. I click it and it doesn't do anything. Why is it broken? Well, here's the way to fix this. If you're using a fancy brush and it changes a bunch of the base default settings, there are two ways you can fix this. You can either go over and here's the key, jitter. This is what was messing up my stamping. Change everything to zero. Go and select your alpha. Now it still won't fix it, so you still have to make some adjustments, make it a little bigger, go ahead and change the rotation. <gasps> Wait a minute, <gasps> it still didn't work. I thought you said that was gonna fix it, dude. It was all about the jitter. Well, that's why this isn't exactly the best solution. You can make it work, but as you see, I had to make changes, and I also forgot a setting. Follow path. You have to turn that off as well. So now with that off, It'll work fine. That fixes it. The best thing to do probably is to grab a Kyle's brush, do all the texturing you want to do, change the color, make it look pretty, and then grab the basic brush, then grab your alpha. It'll still be small because that's the basic brush size. Make it bigger, control, right click, and then it'll work fine. So let that be a lesson for all you tutorial makers out there. Record the mistakes. Show what happens when things aren't perfect or don't go just to plan. That's the best way to teach somebody. You learn more from your failures than your successes. So hopefully this video helps you out. Now you know about the jitter and the follow path can throw off if you grab a stamp after using a fancy brush like Kyle's brushes. Or you can just grab the basic brush, which will reset everything to the defaults. Grab your alpha and you're good to go. And now everything is going swimmingly for Matt. His life has turned around. It's nothing but sunshine and lollipops in the future. You're welcome, Matt. Thanks for watching. Take care.